What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to a nether Fortnite video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to never die again within Fortnite and this is going to actually help you out a lot. Now, if you're one of those pro players who, who doesn't die too often and gets a lot of kills, then this video is probably not going to be for you. It's probably going to be a lot of tips that you already know about. But if you're one of those players who has trouble getting, let's say, five kills, four kills a game and ends up dying all the time, well, then this video is probably going to be for you and it's probably going to help you out a lot. Now, before I get started into this video, guys, I'm going to ask you to leave a comment down below letting me know how many solo wins you guys have within Fortnite. And just let, be honest, be completely honest with me. And uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Also, leave a like if you guys do enjoy these types of videos so I can know to make more of them. Subscribe with notifications turned on and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do when landing onto the map is you do not want to go to populated areas. If you're one of those people who dies a lot when there's a lot of enemies in one area, then what you want to do is stay away from Salty Springs, stay away from Tilted Towers, Retail Row, and Pleasant Park. And let's say in a week from now when you're actually better at the game, then you could start landing at those places. You'll probably still die quite often, but it'll be a lot better because you'll get more practice and you'll be able to get more of those kills and stuff, which is going to eventually turn you into one of those pro players. So definitely make sure to do that, guys. Do not land at those places that I, that I just mentioned. Only land there once you're actually good at getting kills. Once you could average, I'd say, five kills a game, then I would start landing in those areas, kill a bunch of people, and move on. Next tip I want to give you guys, this one has to do with accuracy, and it's like 10 to $20. You guys do not have to follow this tip if you don't want to, but you guys should be using control freaks when playing Fortnite. These things help out a lot at long range, especially when you're shooting at people. Your control is going to be so much better. Your bullets are probably going to hit them a lot more often because you're going to be more on target with the enemies, and this will just help you guys get a bunch of kills. Now, you guys could use my code, it's Nick, for 10% off. Save yourself a bunch of money on those control freaks, and they actually do come in handy. I've been playing with them for three years and I, I really I don't think anyone who's ever played with control freaks could play without them anymore that's how good they are they're great another thing I want to say is this one might be a little hard this one might be a little difficult for you guys but play on builder pro it might sound tough and there's a lot of people who don't want to play on builder pro because they've played on the regular one in the past but builder pro is going to help you out a lot it's going to take you a few games to get used to if you haven't played with builder pro yet it might take like five six games but once you get used to builder pro you're going to be building so fast that you're going to be catching up with the enemies if they're very fast builders and stuff so builder pro is really something i recommend using and definitely it will save you a lot it's just like just a few clicks of a button rather than scrolling through all your stuff and hitting the wrong one by mistake and putting a floor instead of a wall on builder pro that should not be happening so don't worry about it guys builder pro will help you out a ton the next one i want to talk about this is one that not too many people do like to mention because everybody likes to play differently but make sure that your sensitivity is around eight i know if you like playing on low sensitivity that might be your style but try to get used to the higher sensitivities within fortnite i like to play around eight i specifically play on nine and the reason for this is because if there is enemies coming up behind me i could easily turn on them if there's an enemy like moving really fast i could easily keep my aim on him and stuff so sensitivity somewhere pretty high is worth it and you could even build so much faster at a higher sensitivity you could drop walls all around you within seconds rather than waiting and uh, trying to spin your character slowly which just takes way too long when you're at those lower sensitivities like three or something you won't be able to build as fast you won't be able to turn on people so put it high and you will be getting a lot of those kills and next one i want to say is before before you engage the enemy, if you see an enemy and he doesn't see you at all, build cover no matter what, even if his back is turned. Build cover really, really fast, a little one by one, hop up on top of a ramp or something, get that little height advantage, and then start shooting at him. Because if you start shooting at him, and let's say the bullet spread is not in your favor and you start missing a lot of bullets, he's going to turn on you and he's going to kill you if you are not behind cover and if you do not have height advantage. So make sure, guys, build the cover before you start shooting at him. Now, if he does see you and you're face to face, take those shots, build those walls really fast if you're taking a lot of damage, but make sure to get those kills. That's one thing I want to talk about. If you're getting a lot of damage off, off an enemy, like if he's shooting you a lot and you're getting really hurt and you're not getting any of your bullets on him, make sure to build walls like crazy, get that height advantage, and it's really going to work. Now, this, is, this one's pretty obvious, guys. This one is very, very obvious, but 
but when you are running don't just run straight and not jump you guys should be jumping running in small zigzags you don't have to go crazy left crazy right small little zigzags and jump just consistently jump constantly jump and it's gonna it's gonna help you guys out a lot you're gonna get sniped a lot less it's gonna be a lot harder for people to shoot you even if they're using ARs at longer distance and uh, this way once you start getting shot at you probably won't be hit whatsoever but you could build right away and get those enemies at the longer distances and it'll help out a lot and one other thing I wanted to say always 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 make sure to be higher than your enemies no matter what even if you are the worst builder in this game it doesn't take much skill to get higher than your enemies just build ramps go up higher than them and if they end up getting up higher than you build a little one by one walls all around that's all you got to do put walls all around your body build a ramp and then continue going up this way you guys should be safe and you will be on top of the enemies which is probably one of the most important tips on Fortnite. you always want to get that height advantage on the enemies you do not want to die because if, if you do not have the height advantage they're gonna be shooting at your head if they're on top and stuff like that and it's really not worth it because headshots do so much damage they do double damage in this game which is completely insane so make sure not to do that whatsoever and uh, yeah that, that's it for the tips guys like these tips you guys should be following to the T and you'll notice that you'll be getting a lot better at Fortnite and it, it'll come like you guys you may not be doing too good right now you may have zero wins right now but give it some time guys these tips are going to help you out a lot and you will have a lot more wins now let me guys let me know guys if you do watch my other tip videos let me know if they have helped you at all and let me know what your best tip is if you had a tip to give anyone in Fortnite what would it be put it down in the comments below all right guys my name is Nick thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one make sure to subscribe turn on those notifications you guys got to turn those on and i'll catch you in the next one Peace.